So let me just do a quick recap on what we did here. Uh, we had Aussie pushing down lower, and we had Euro dollar, a uh, one minute PMBs at the time, here uh, were pointed to the upside. You know, they're sitting like this, uh, just like how Euro yen is now. And what we've seen, we've seen the price come down on Euro dollar. If we look here at the chart, uh, basically down to a low that we had previously put in down at 06. We've seen Aussie pushing a little lower, so it made me a little cautious uh, getting into the position that you know there was a, a decent chance that we may we may just see ourselves you know get stopped out, and that's fine as long as we're aware of that, and at the same time we're using a risk reward that's going to accommodate that. So uh, getting in down near the low around the 10 level or uh, the 11 level, but as long as you have a stop below the low. Um, again, you weren't you weren't stopped out, so you were able to still ride the position. But once we got in, uh, we quickly went in and put in our four point stop. The trade didn't work out, and we continued to see the Aussie pushing lower, which uh, we may see here. There would have been a good chance that uh, the euro would actually broken that low and take in our stop loss. Again, a four point stop. Uh, once we got the price to, to push up a little bit, and we were up a couple points. I started to notice the one minute PMDs were beginning to overlap each other and just getting ready to flip to the down. Downside. So it's a little aggressive, only being up about two points, but uh, we moved the stop loss up to break even. So completely uh, removed the risk in the trade. It was either going to work and give us our points or it was going to stop us out at break even. And either way, I was happy with it. But I didn't feel comfortable still leaving my stop with the Aussie pushing lower and, and appearing that uh, our dollar pairs. We're going to see a little bit of dollar strength and push a little lower. Again, price came up to about eight points. You may have seen nine points there and just closed the trade. If it's earlier in the week, I like to hold trades a lot more for my day and swing trading. Then Friday, I typically don't like to hold on to trades as much. But the reason I closed out of everything there is we started with a four-point stop. We had eight and a half, nine points. That was our risk reward of one to two there, risking four to make eight. And when you're working with a trade that has a probability of success that's under 50%, uh, that's what you have to do in order to uh, consistently be profitable with that strategy in the long term. Sure, you may have uh, one or two individual trades. It can even be 100 trades, where if you're working with, say, a strategy that's less than 50% chance of success and you're only working with a one-to-one, -one, yeah, you may have 100 trades in you know, a month of trading where you continue to go and your account's growing and everything's fine, but eventually it will catch up to you. Uh, the timing, uh, no one ever knows, maybe sooner than later. But if you are going to trade a strategy that has a lower chance of success, you have to have a risk reward that's going to accommodate that.